Are you constantly struggling to figure out why you're always sick or why you're constantly exhausted? Perhaps it's the small daily choices you are making. And joining us now for some advice, food blogger and author Phoebe Lapine. She has a new book out. It's called The Wellness Project. It chronicles her own journey from dealing with a disease to living a healthier life. Phoebe, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, let's talk about what disease you currently, it's an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, um, which as it sounds affects the thyroid gland and has a whole host of, you know, fun symptoms like fatigue, weight loss and gain, um, fluctuations in general, body temperature fluctuations, um, depression and anxiety, you know. All the fun stuff. So doctors just said, you know, we're going to give you some medication. This is mm -hmm. treatable, but you still felt pretty awful. So you decided to take this on yourself. And s how can I live healthier? And you made changes in your everyday diet. What are some things that people can learn from your wellness project? Well, I think overall, um, it's so important to self-experiment. And, you know, even doctors who do pay attention more to lifestyle and diet, you really don't know what's going to work for you until you try it. So what I did was really try and isolate what these you know various changes were so I could see you know what really is worth the time money and energy I'm spending on it and then also weigh it against you know maybe some of the unanticipated consequences in my life how did it affect my financial wellness my social wellness you know my freedom to just live so what are some of the specific changes so the first one I did was 30 days without uh, caffeine alcohol and sugar which oh that's got to be out hard. of the gate right out of I the mean, gate my willpower is at its strongest so I needed the most extreme okay. one up front um, others but don't you get like withdrawal from these things because it's not easy for someone who's a coffee drinker like myself yes. and yourself yeah. if you drink it once or twice a day to just cold it to wasn't cold, cold turkey. Yeah. I downgraded to green tea for the caffeine um, for about a week, and that actually lessened the symptoms. But sugar was the most intense withdrawal. I mean, that lasted actually weeks, and I felt irritable, um, exhausted, would get weird headaches throughout the day, and I wasn't as maybe addicted as you are to caffeine, so I know it wasn't just that. Don't judge. Okay. I'm yeah. not <laughs> judging. I'm not judging. Judgment-free zone. Uh, one of the things you say is how I learned to do right with my body without giving up my life. So you say, you know, because everyone has difficulty trying to mm -hmm. wean something off or, you know, it's common sense out there. So people try to, like, not eat as much sugar. But, you know, you don't have to give it up completely. No, and each of my changes weren't cumulative. I really wanted to, again, like, really establish that pro and con list. For you, you know, you maybe if you went off caffeine for 30 days, you would have felt amazing. But it's up to you whether or not it's enough to give it up long term. Maybe you'll find some sort of moderation going forward, but, or I'm totally fine and I did this with certain things, you'll say it's not worth it and just go on living your life and find other things that you can do to, you know, boost your health. You also talk about uh, a healthier morning ritual. Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? Um, it can mean, you know, various things for different people. For me, I now try and meditate for 20 minutes every day. Um, I try and make breakfast in advance, make sure I'm eating breakfast. But I think it's so important to just, you know, set aside a little bit of time, even if it's five minutes, and just say, like, this is my time for myself. I'm going to do something that, you know, fuels my daily vitality instead of just waking up and rushing throughout the day yeah. without any sort to game plan. So much information out there. Of course, it's in your book here, The Wellness Project. Phoebe Lapine, thank you so much for joining us. Is that a margarita it. on the cover? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to buy that. Can I have the margarita? Yes. yes. Thank you, Phoebe.